guys welcome back to the channel as promised i've got another project in for you this is my daughter kaylee jade's 03 chevrolet s10 4x4 zr2 not exactly what i expected her to buy for her first vehicle but i'm a little jealous i've had a few of these s10s in my day and i love them but i'm super proud of her she saved up her money and she picked this thing up for 1500 bucks let's give you a quick walk around all right here she is she definitely needs a good detailing and a cleaning but all around pretty decent truck i got it legal and been driving it around a little bit checking it out and it runs good but it needs a rear passenger fender flare set of tires it also needs the lower passenger fender flare the windshield wiper arm on the driver's side is bent so that needs to be replaced because the windshield wiper doesn't contact the, the windshield very well it has the dreaded door bushing issue so the door opens and closes kind of shitty it is an extended cab it had a toolbox in it that was way too heavy for the truck and unfortunately both sides of the bed are cracked right here so we'll be fixing that probably doing a spray in bed liner or roll in bed liner but all around pretty decent truck we know the previous owner and he uh used this for a hunting truck unfortunately the 4x4 does not work but we'll be addressing that as well the truck had seat covers on it since it was new so the seats are in real good condition it needs a center console lid and for the 4x4, it's got this low car manual cable inside, and that does not work. It's stripped out, so as soon as it gets to the point to where it's supposed to engage the front differential, it pops. So that needs to be fixed, and airbag switch. I'm going to try to find one of those. But all in all, pretty decent truck. Headliner's good go ahead and do a cold start for you and let you hear how she runs It's pretty good for a 20 year old truck but inside the truck you'll notice the gauge bezel is not all broken and cracked which is amazing because these things are so hard to find super expensive and they're super brittle so that is a win in itself uh, we got good oil pressure temperature gauge works Service engine light's on, so we'll be trying to figure out what's going on there. The ABS light is on, so that's most likely a sensor. We'll be troubleshooting that. And the parking brake light is on, and the parking brake is not engaged. So we're going to have to try to figure out what's going on there. The fuel gauge does not work. The previous owner stated that they changed the fuel pump, so that's brand new, and the gauge still doesn't work. So we'll be trying to source a gauge cluster for troubleshooting try to see if that's the issue and while it's out we'll go ahead and check the ohms on the wire feeding the gauge to make sure there's no short or anything in the wire before we plug in the new gauge and see if it works but hopefully it's easy get it up and going for her. So as I'm sure you heard when I started her up, the fan shroud is contacting the fan. 
So I'm going to need to pull the fan shroud out and see why it's rubbing on the fan. Uh, I'm pretty sure at the bottom it's pretty chewed up because I can turn the fan one way and I can hear it clicking. But if I turn it back the other way, it gets stuck. And you have to force it. So I'm assuming the bottom of it's pretty messed up. So we'll pull it out of there and see what we can do to fix that. And as stated, it has the manual cable for the front differential and it's missing the vacuum actuator from underneath the battery. So we're gonna have to source one of those as well. But all in all, I think this will be a good first vehicle for her. And we're gonna take a trip to the pull apart and see if we can't find any of these parts that we're looking for. And we'll see you shortly. All right, guys, we're back from the junkyard. And we got a few of the parts that were on our list. This is Kaylee, and that was her first time at the junkyard. I think she had more fun walking around looking through the cars than she did actually looking for parts. But uh, she's got a few accessories that she wants to install, and she's going to do some cleaning while I get to messing with this stuff. And she's going to put her KJ stank on it. guys Kaylee and Miss Paisley finished up the interior and it is very pink but it's clean and it looks decent I found that the shroud had some broken tabs on it and it was allowing it to flex and contact the fan so I trimmed it up a little bit and put some zip ties on it so hopefully it's not as noisy as it was let's check it out Much better. It is the next day, guys. And we're going to address this 4x4 actuator cable and this uh, windshield wiper. Of course, I'm going to do the easy one first and take care of the windshield wiper. But I'm going to go ahead and push this out a little bit, put it up on some jack stands. There's a couple plates under there that got to be removed, and it's quite the nasty under there. So uh, we got George Clay and a little bit of oil mixed together and whatnot. So I don't want that all over my carpeting. But uh, let's get after it.
got the battery and the battery tray removed and this is the cable that needs to come out the vacuum actuator mounts here and then there's supposed to be a vacuum line that runs back to the transfer case and the cable runs through here into a bracket and then into the differential so we'll go ahead and get that put in and then we'll get underneath the truck Now that that's done, we can go ahead and put our battery tray back in and put our battery back in the truck. And uh, I've got this piece of hose and this reducer, which the reducer comes on the vacuum canister with a small piece of hose about that long. And then your transfer case line runs into it. But I've got a longer piece to connect and then it'll hang out under the battery. That way I can reconnect and disconnect my line if I need to in the future without having to take the battery out. All right, now it's time to remove this manual cable from inside the cab. Of these pesky vacuum lines this is the intake port vacuum this is actually what creates vacuum for your, your vacuum system and it tees off and it's supposed to run from here to the top of the transfer case and there's a Christmas tree looking thing down there it's got three ports on it and there's another one behind it so that makes four and then there's another one on the transmission so that's five this runs to the vacuum port on the transfer case. There's two vent lines that tee together off the transfer case and then also tees into the vent on the transmission and that hose is supposed to run up here and has a little uh, vent valve on it which is not there so I'm going to run this one to the transfer case vacuum and then this T actually runs to this vacuum over here to your vacuum canisters in your dash, which controls your blend door for your heat and AC. And it also controls your vent adjustment so you can have it on your feet or blowing on you or blowing on the windshield. And as of now, there's no blend door activation and no heat inside the truck because this was completely clogged up and there's there was no vacuum on this piece so we'll go ahead and run this one to the vacuum port on the transfer case and then this piece to here that way we'll have heat and we'll be able to adjust our vents and then we have to figure out the vent line and then we'll run another hose from the christmas tree to the front differential actuator
Vacuum lines are all hooked up, guys. I did not record under there because it was just so muddy and tight and cold. And I just could not get a good frame down there. But this is what I got. This is my vacuum source off my intake manifold. It runs into this T, which runs into the cab for the HVAC controls. This one runs back to my transfer case switch. And these two are vents. I didn't have but one T. So this one is from the switch vent to the transmission vent. And this one is just by itself a vent off of the back of the transfer case. So uh, let's get this thing jacked up on jack stands and see if the 4x4 works. Fingers crossed. Yeah! Alright guys, I call that a victory. So, we're going to call this a video. Join me on the next one where I'm going to address the door hinges, the gauge cluster, and I got a little surprise for my daughter while I'm in there. I'm going to do it all at once, take care of it. But, uh, like, share, and subscribe as always, and we'll see you on the next one.